is Saturday and I thought I would bring you along with me on my morning. ponytail and wear a visor it looks pretty sunny outside but it's our first day being in like the 60s in the morning at least it's still going to get up to like 81 so I don't think I actually need this shrug that I'm wearing but I really wanted to put it on because it's so cute and I'm really looking forward to this walk in the good weather so my newer morning routine has been trying to get out on 30 minute to an hour walks with Kai in the morning before work. So it is the weekend. I woke up a little bit later. I woke up around like 7.50, but I stayed up last night to read and I stayed up pretty late. So I think I actually have like a mosquito bite on my face, which is not ideal, but I am going to put on some sunscreen because I don't want to get burnt. So I have this L'Oreal Bright Reveal SPF 50 that I'm going to put on. Somebody says, Mom, I'm ready for a walk. You ready to go walk? <laughs> from Ryan while we were 10 steps away from home that he's gonna pick up Starbucks. So I will be having that for breakfast instead of making my own coffee, which I typically would do. But I did also find a book from our free little libraries. So we have probably two little libraries around us that are usually fully stocked, honestly. They've been stocked really well recently. And I found this one, which is a Christmas book. And I figured I would pick it up and save it for December. But this is the wish list by Michael Major. It looked really cute. So this is actually about three sisters and their like love story. So I think it's gonna be so cute, like basically a Hallmark movie and it includes a bonus holiday novella. It says, this Christmas, the Carlisle sisters will rediscover the gift of family. I actually really like books about like sisters and like women creating bonds together. I think those are so beautiful to read. So I'm excited for this one. I'll save it for the holidays, but yeah, picked up this little free book. So I definitely need to bring back one that I already read. It's called The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. And I really liked that one too. So I will bring that one back to the little library, but let's go ahead and I think I'm gonna have like a banana or something. And then I'm going to lift some weights until Ryan gets home.
time for my favorite part of my morning routine and that is always my shower so i wanted to share with you guys my little apple routine that i've been using for most of the month of september and honestly it's just the perfect morning wake me up type of fruity scent so i also went ahead and lit my in the stars and honey crisp apple candle to go along with it this one is so perfect for mornings for nights really for any time of day and i love the smell of it and it just makes me feel super girly and awake and here i am getting into the shower now i have been doing kind of like twice a day showers lately but i've not been feeling too dry or anything because i always make sure to put on my lotion as soon as i get out of the shower That felt so good. There's something about taking a morning shower that just feels amazing. So this is like a weekend routine, but if it was a weekday, I would still do everything except for a workout in the morning. So I've been doing morning walks with Kai for probably the past two or three weeks. Just wake up as early as I can, 6.37, and go for like a 30 minute walk. And I have been kind of trying to tap back into my spirituality. So I've been listening to five minute devotionals on Spotify. Um, I didn't grow up like crazy religious, but I did grow up Catholic. And I don't know, I'm just kind of like casually reconnecting with my religion, but it's felt really good to start my day feeling grateful. So that's really helped. And then I've also been listening to a Better You podcast by Fernanda Ramirez. I love putting that on in the mornings. She is so motivational and she has some really great podcasts on how to better yourself, how to be thankful and grateful for what you have and how to be basically a better you, like the podcast says. So I've been loving her. And then also, of course, listening to audiobooks on my walk. Okay, as much as I want to be super cute with you guys today and wear something like red and adorable for my like apple routine, I'm just gonna stick with a wood piece. And it's cute, it's brown. It's got this like open back here and it's super comfy. So let's go get dressed. So I'm gonna also share with you guys my morning skincare. So before we do my typical skincare, I do have a breakout right here. I picked up my skin, I know. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my Foreo wand on this one pimple right here. And it does do blue light for acne. This is a blue light therapy wand. You can hear it vibrating. <laughs> it's vibrating on my face with the frequency to help destroy any bad bacteria within my skin. And then I'm also gonna go in with some Mary Kay Clear Proof Acne Treatment Gel. This is 5% benzyl peroxide. So it's going to help get rid of that bad bacteria in there. And while we let that dry, I am gonna go in with my typical morning toner. This is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. I like to use something hydrating in the morning because I have combination skin. So it is dry and it is also oily at the same time. It's a little difficult and it changes with the seasons. It's kind of just been a little bit dull this summer. So I've started using a hydrating toner just to bring back some buoyancy and some bounce and then i do use a gua sha on my face so i'll do five swipes to the right five to the left and then five right down the middle and then i'll repeat again if my skin is still moist five 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 but it already dried so next i usually go in with a eye serum so this is the ordinary caffeine solution five percent and i'll just do two drops on my under eyes you guys i really need to <laughs> Review my nails, they all just like fell off. I don't know what it is about this polish, but it started chipping on day one and it really aggravated me because I love this color. It's this like burgundy wine red. It's so pretty, but it only lasted one day without chipping. So, and then again, I do the gua sha on my under eye. It's already dry now, but I'll do it from here to here and I'll do 10 on each side. Next, I'm using the Face Boom Skin Dopamine. This is a moisturizing serum. I got this in PR to use for a UGC campaign for them. So I'm just trying to finish it up. It is nice, it is hydrating. It just kind of smells weird. <laughs> it smells like Fruity Pebbles. And then this one I will use on my cheek and I will do right here for my cheekbone. But I just went in with my CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. This stuff is the simple good stuff and simple is good sometimes too. 
So for this one, I will go on my jawline, one, two, and then wiggle and bring it down. And last step for skincare, do not forget your sunscreen. I'm using the e.l.f. Sun Touchable Woe Glow in SPF 30. I wish it was more than 30, I wish it was 50, but it's okay because this gives such a beautiful glow to the skin. I am so sad that I'm almost finished with mine. I'm gonna have to buy a replacement. Sorry if you can hear the bird chirping right outside of my window, but that always is a good vibe for the morning. So for makeup, I'm gonna start with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I like to use this whenever my skin is just acting up and she really is. I'm just going in with a little color corrector from Mary Kay. Okay, next I'm gonna go with my Merit Minimalist Complexion Stick in Ochre. I swear to God, you guys, if you've never tried this, you really need to. First off, I don't know how I found such a close shade match, but this matches me perfectly to the fact that it's kind of scary. And then I blend it out with this Bare Minerals brush, which is definitely supposed to be for mineral powder, but it works really well for blending out like a foundation stick. This stuff just blends really well and sits really well on the skin. So I will have my makeup on throughout the entire day. I'll put it on in the morning and I'll have it on until like eight or 9 p.m. I work out in it and I sweat in it. So I really like how this one looks by the end of the day too. And since this is gonna be a very minimal makeup day, this is my like everyday makeup. I will just go in with a cream bronzer and a cream blush and I don't put anything else on my skin. I'll just set it with powder. So this is the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick and Baked, and I've had this little mini. I've had it for like four years until it finally finished and I had to buy a new one. So that just goes to show you, you do not need this in a full size. I think the mini is the perfect size. And then I'm gonna go in with another Merit product. This is the Flush Bomb in Fox. I swear I love their blush bombs. I think they are just the perfect texture and they have some really pretty colors. I have the red one as well, which I have not used yet, but I'm excited to try it out for the holidays. But this one is like the perfect minimal blush color. I also have it in Beverly Hills, but this one is a little too light for me. I feel like if you have pale skin, this would be like the perfect color for you. It's just like a light pink, but it doesn't really show up on me. And then going in with my trusty dusty Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair for underneath the eyes. And then I need some advice, guys. I've been using this Laura Mercier setting powder for years and years and years, but I hear that matte skin is giving millennial and old, so... How are we setting our skin and still having it glowy and dewy, but like staying all day? How are we doing that? Please let me know because I have no idea how that would work. How do you have dewy skin, but not have your makeup like move throughout the day? Let me know. And I will do some research for you guys. If you're also wondering the same, I will do some research and update you guys on what I find. But I am just going in with my ColourPop Brow Gel in dark brown. I like to use a colorful brow gel on minimal makeup days because as opposed to a clear brow gel so that I don't have to use a brow pen or like fill in my brows at all. I just use this and I'm done. And then last step, I'm using my Lash Paradise in Latte Brown. I love the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara by itself. And they came out with this brown one recently and I think it's the perfect everyday like minimal makeup kind of mascara. So that's one I with and one I without. I think it looks really, really pretty and natural. Now for hair. So since I did work out, we are a little bit oily. So I'm just gonna give her a brush and then I think I'm gonna leave it down today. But my new favorite thing is headbands. Hey, they're back. <laughs> They're back in style, so I think I'm gonna go with this tan headband, but let me show you the secret. I think it looks good too because I have a very small forehead one and I have a widow's peak, so I'll show you what I do here. I pretty much just put it like the teensiest bit behind my hairline and then put it behind my ears and that's as far as I go and then I'll kind of like brush out my part so that way you can't really see it and then there you have it. That is the headband look. That way I really didn't have to do anything with my hair. Um, and you could also like put it in a ponytail. I think it's even still cute in a ponytail like this too. Um, or I guess with a clip too. 
but I'm just gonna leave it down. And then we're gonna do our sprays today. So I have Champagne Apple and Honey in the Mist and Champagne Toast in the Perfume. And that is it for my little apple themed morning routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed that and got just a little bit of a taste of my morning, but I hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.